With hundreds of thousands of cases and over 14,000 deaths so far, swine flu is the latest global pandemic. Within weeks of the Mexican government confirming an outbreak in March 2009, cases of swine flu were identified throughout the world. The virus that causes the flu, H1N1, seemed to have emerged out of nowhere. But researchers contend that swine flu shouldn't have blindsided public health systems worldwide. Our experiences with avian flu, SARS, and the West Nile virus have taught us that there are certain trends to how viruses emerge, and these could help predict and prevent outbreaks in the future. Scientists have shown that more than half of the infectious diseases that affect humans originated in animals. HIV and malignant malaria came from chimpanzees. Influenza A came from wild birds, and the plague was born in rodents, just to name a few. The jump from animals to humans often happens through groups of people that have close contact with animals, like the bush meat hunters in Central Africa. I traveled to Cameroon to see how researchers from the Global Viral Forecasting Initiative, the GVFI, are working with bush meat hunters to track viral transmission. Cameroon is what GVFI researchers call a viral hotspot, a place where the high biodiversity and local way of life makes cross-species transmission more likely. The head of the GVFI, virologist Nathan Wolf, started monitoring this viral chatter 10 years ago. Wolf and his team work in rural areas where the main source of protein is wild meat. Rodents, porcupines, anteaters, and non-human primates like monkeys and chimpanzees. After a kill, the hunters carry the meat back to the village, slung over their backs. The blood of the game runs down their legs and mingles with their own. The perfect medium for viral transmission. Back in the village, preparing the fresh meat for cooking is also a bloody affair, and another source of viral transmission. In a makeshift field laboratory, the researchers take blood samples from the hunters and their prey so they can search for viruses that have jumped into humans. They also take samples from other species of wildlife to monitor the general variety of viruses that are out there in the forests of Cameroon. Some of the samples are analyzed at the group's new laboratory in Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé. Others are sent to top-notch institutes around the world for special analysis. So far, the group has shown that monkey and ape viruses related to HIV have jumped into Cameroonian hunters. For example, around 1% of the hunters they tested have been exposed to a retrovirus called simian foamy virus. But the group hasn't shown that these crossover viruses cause disease or are spreading among people. In the last few years, the GVFI has expanded its work, and they now have sampling centers in the Democratic Republic of Congo, China, Malaysia, and Laos. By providing a head start in identifying viruses all over the world, the GVFI researchers hope to help health officials intervene early to prevent the emergence of pandemics like swine flu in the future.